How's it going YouTube? And Delight Boo here today, bringing you guys a new video, and it is going to be about a monitor that just replaced my Acer, and it is the Asus or Asus VG248QE Gaming Monitor. It is a 24 inch monitor with 1ms response time, 144Hz, and 3D vision, and if you are looking for a, not so much of a low budget monitor and not so much of a high budget monitor, this is a great monitor for you guys, and I really didn't understand why the pros used it in all the games until I actually touched it and used it myself. So if you're looking for that kind of monitor, like the middle-ish, but a very good monitor, this is the one for you. So getting right into it guys, you're going to want to go down to the bottom right of your monitor, and you're going to want to hit the menu button, okay? Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select the Splendid Mode Game Mode, alright? So make sure you're on that. And then you're going to go down, the blue light filter just makes your screen brighter or darker, and it takes away blue light, uh, which damages your eyes. Level 0 is the highest, level 4 is obviously going to be the darkest and best for your eyes, but I like to play on large, uh, very light, so I play on level 0. For color, I like to play on brightness 100, contrast 70, and saturation. Depending on the game, I like to play from 35 to 70, uh, but usually I like to play on 70. I think a good level is actually 50 though, if that's what you're looking for. Color temp, user mode, skin tone, natural, smart view off. On image, I like to play on 6060 for both of those. It has been deemed on websites and by people that these are the best. Uh, sharpness on 60 is good because it's not too blurry and it's not too cartoony. And trace free is the best for ghosting. And make sure you have ASCR off. Input select, uh, obviously you should be on DVI or display port for true 144 hertz. And then that's pretty much it guys. Um, and then system setup, just make sure you have splendid demo mode off. Uh, the other stuff doesn't really matter. And that concludes this video, guys. Uh, I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, once again, if you need a not-too-low-budget monitor, but you don't need a high one like the $500 BenQs, this $300 Asus monitor is incredibly good. It's got great color, great MS response time, and I'm telling you, the trace-free that this thing has makes it totally worth, and it blew my Acer out of the water. So if you need a monitor, get this one if you can't afford a BenQ, uh, but you have enough to afford it. Uh, if you guys like the video, please like it, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. And uh, as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. My servants never die. Experience tranquility.